It feels wonderful. I, um, you know, it's been a pretty incredible journey over the last, I think, two and a half years. And, um, and I've evolved and changed a lot over that time. And uh, I don't know, it's blown my mind. It's completely changed the way that I am in the world and the way that I respond to and um, interact with others. And, uh, and I, I feel like the, the place that I am in the world now is coming from a place that is far more grounded in my center and who I am and um, you know what my passion is than anything external to who I am and I and for many many years I was living in that kind of place of um, needing validation externally and now it's just from here it's here and and so from this place I I can you know take take my, my work as a painter and my work as a coach and, um, and my dreams to create my own vision of having a studio um, and ground it in that, in that, um, that place that is deep within me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, and then from that take it out into the world. Yeah, so it feels wonderful, but it's a very, right now, it, it's a very kind of internal wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like something that's very special for me, and I'm in, a, I'm in the process of reflection of just how um, deep I've gone and, and how many parts of myself that are now being expressed and now have a voice and um, have now found you know, their, their sweet place inside of me of integration um, and acceptance, um, which, which allows me to, to fully speak my truth, to be really um, honest and truthful and trusting in everything that I do. And it's a practice. <laughs> like I'm constantly working on it, but um, but it feels it feels a part of me now. It feels a part of me. It's not something I'm I'm working on all the time and striving for. And it's like whenever I go into that place of ego or contraction, now there's a like a very um, benevolent voice that comes in and just says. This is ego, you're an ego right now. Mm -hmm. And and I express it and I move through it and um, and it is released out of my energetic system so that I'm no longer holding on to these things. I'm I'm witnessing them. Well I mean I think the painting process has been the um, like the driving force of all of this. This is this is where it's like you get this opportunity to practice. Um, it's like a little microcosm that you can you know, you can be in this very safe container. Um, you can allow these things to emerge um, and you express them, whether it be fear or anger or Whatever it, whatever it is, joy, you express it, you allow it to move through you as energy and, and then it is released. And so it sort of starts here. This feels like the, um, the incubation place for, for this to happen. So you know, here you allow all of these things that might be taboo, that might be um, done in frustration, that might be um, done from the inner child, you explore them, you um, give them voices, you give them form, you release them out of your out of your internal workings, and there they are in front of you, and you can see them, and in in many instances in my process, I've come up against edges that have scared the living daylights out of me, but by expressing them, I shift. They shift and then suddenly I'm in a place of complete connection again and I'm back in that place of 
a deep inner connection. And you know, and, and often there's a there's like an inner core connection, and then there's kind of like a connection to everything that is. And so I'm in this process of of getting connected and then going into ego, and that's kind of the nature of being human. I think mm -hmm. is. Um, I just think that this painting process is that place where you practice this and then and you get these very um, embodied, this embodied experience of what it's like to, to, you know, have anger arise in your body, to express the anger in a very safe and, um, um, yeah, very safe way and you move through it and it shifts and then you take it out into the world. <laughs> And then that's where it really starts to shift everything in your world because you've had this embodied experience of what that's like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think the painting is crucial. Yeah. Well, it has been for me. Something that really uh, has been a uh, passion of mine for a, a long time and I think well I well when I say a long time it's kind of like when I when I had my child I have a five-year-old and uh, she shifted my entire foundation of being and I'm very interested in conscious parenting and how when we as adults bring consciousness into our being, consciousness and awareness into the way that we um, play out our core beliefs and the patterns that we've held on to um, for many, many years, for most of us. Um, how when we bring awareness and consciousness to that, that uh, we are not only bringing that um, to ourselves in our day-to-day -day lives, but we are modeling that for our children. And I think that children uh, thrive on authenticity. When you are being inauthentic with a child, and you know, sometimes we have to be, but um, when you are not in alignment with your, um, your truth, a child senses that. They know it immediately and and I, I feel that that gives them a sense of hang on a minute what's going on here and so when we can bring awareness and consciousness and acknowledge that um, with our children and and be real with them then it helps them to go oh, okay there is authenticity here I mean and that's just a tiny little bit of it there is so much more I think um, I think doing this kind of work, you know, there's a lot of inner child, you can see, a lot of inner child stuff comes up and, and it gives us an opportunity to tune into that little kid inside of us and I think that there is incredible wisdom in the child inside all of us, um, that child that sees truth and by tapping into that it can enable us to see the truth in our own children. Hi, it's Melissa D'Antoni, founder and director of Fire Tree Studios. And if you are inspired by what you saw in this video today and you would like the opportunity to guide people to their creative source for um, increased vitality, passion, um, insight, wisdom, um, and encouraging them to wait and awaken their inner healer and shaman and become truly self-empowered through the creative process, please check out our website at firetreestudios.com. You can also email us for an application or more information or set up a consultation with me to see if this is the right path for you. Um, email us at trainings at firetreestudios.com and I look forward to seeing you in the studio.